Okay, let's cut to the chase. The answer to the question in the title of this video is no. Damien the Omen 2 is the 1978 sequel to The Omen from 1976. It takes off where The Omen left off. Damien is now 13 and he's an orphan. He lives with his aunt, uncle, and cousin, and he goes to a prestigious military academy. Damien still doesn't know who he is, so the movie is really about how Damien's coming to terms with his devilish heritage, but oddly enough, He's kind of absent for most of the film, and he acts more like a spoiled child than the Antichrist. I think there's great potential to explore Damien and how he comes into his own and becomes more aware of his powers, but I find Damien the Omen 2 a massive fall from the original. I enjoyed the opening scene. It shows Bugenhagen, who was the man that gave Richard Thorne the daggers to kill Damien in the first film. He's the only one that truly knows who Damien is, so that scene sets up the movie well. We then jump seven years later, and we're led to believe that after the shit show that happened in the first film, that nothing weird or suspicious surrounding Damien has happened in seven years. A bit odd, but I'll let it pass. Once the movie gets started on Damien, it is boring and lifeless. The character development is poor. There are so many men working for the Thorn Empire that I have no idea who's who. The film has so many generic characters that are just so forgettable. This film uses ravens instead of the badass stoic Rottweiler dogs that we all love from the first one. I don't know why they switched to the ravens. I don't like the direction. I didn't think it was good. It was not as effective. There's a different writer and director in this movie, and I think it's very evident. The pace of the movie is incoherent and sporadic to me, and the script is poorly written, in my opinion. A little bit sloppy. The stunts and effects feel just as unreal as they actually are, and the acting comes across overdone and less than credible. The, the death scenes are just funny and how badly they present, and so goes for many of the other scenes that are supposed to carry weight and advance the plot. There's a scene where Damien becomes knowledgeable about who he really is, but it's executed so quickly and poorly and ridiculously that it's super humorous. This would be kind of a cool opportunity to explore the theme of whether or not the Antichrist can or will deny his birthright, but we get nothing there. We just get a statement of allegiance with no real basis in the story for him to do so. We continuously see random people find the smallest amount of information out about Damien and then die off, lather, rinse, repeat. It's stale to me. Uh, the feeling I was left with was depression. <laughs> and not in a scary way. When the movie does end, it's at a point where practically everything between the start and the ending doesn't matter at all. They go for a little bit of a plot twist and it's okay, but it's done before it even started, basically. The rush to the end is so bad, it's actually kind of impressive. So I'll give them that. <laughs> okay, enough. I do like the concept of Damien exploring who he is as uh, an older person and not just a five-year-old boy. But for a sequel to a big hit such as The Omen, uh, this isn't it. For me, this kind of cheapens the first Omen film. Whatever it is you're hoping to get out of Damien Omen 2, you're better off just re-watching the original Omen instead. But if you like this one, tell me why. I actually would love to know. Um, I give this a three and a half out of 10. What do you give it? Thanks for watching and catch me next time. Peace.